Hi everyone and welcome back to a quick video. We're just going to have a look at the March release from Picket Fan Studios. And as you can see, it's another generous one. And it is today, if you're watching this on release day, it's 14th of March. This arrived just yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to kind of make anything with it. But we're going to have a look at these and then we'll see if I can actually manage something a bit later. So we have this teeny tiny little cutie pie stamp set called Raining Envelopes. It's super cute, look at that. And I mean, it's only like that big. Oh, adorable. And I love you with a matching dye. A cute little envelope, oh sorry, mailbox with a matching dye. And then we have a Kylie girl with a dye. I love my matching dyes, or coordinating dyes. And then we have a, um, this is one of the seamless stamps. So this one is called Birds in Flight. And I think this would look fantastic with the, one of the stamp sets that was released earlier in this year with the waves. So we could kind of make like a really sort of ocean, maybe even like a sunset theme. I think that would look fantastic. Maybe I'll try that today. And then we have a whale breaching. Super cool, look at that. And you might sort of see that there's this going to be a bit of an ocean theme here. So we're going to have a look at all of this. And then we have lilies for spring with coordinating dyes. Yay! And then we have two different sets of um, mermaids. Uh, so mermaid sets. So this is Mer People of the Sea. And you can see they're all like silhouettes and stuff and some fun ocean themed sentiments and stuff. Um, there we go and coordinating dies, yes. And then this one is called Mermaids of the Sea. So we have just, uh, although there is a king here as well, although it could be, I guess, a queen actually, just very muscly queen, and lots of other sort of uh, ocean themed stuff and coordinating dies. Let's see, where's the, okay, so here, this stencil is called Whale and Mermaid. So you can either mask with the whale or you can ink blend him. And I think that would look super cute. And there's like a little water sprout from the whale as well. And then there's a big, huge one as well. So you can either like, you know, do get the big one for the slimline cards or this one for your normal sort of A size or even like six by six cards. And then we have another fish stencil so we have something similar in the six by six. And I think that it's not called infinity or fish line infinity. It's called something else, but it's basically this, but on a larger scale. So now we have a slim line too. I like that. And then mermaid scales. Yay! So yeah, good, 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 good. And then we have something uh, slightly non ocean theme. So we have job well done. And I actually first saw that these was coffee cups. So I was like, yay. But then I realized they're kind of wine glasses, maybe like a Coke or beer bottle or something like that. But you know, you can maybe change those up if that doesn't sort of suit you. And then we have cheers, which would obviously go really, really well with that sort of stamp set there. And there's some really, really nice ones in there in this one. So it's like, job well done, here's to you, I admire your determination, what wonderful news, let's celebrate your accomplishment, you rock, and I consider myself lucky to be your friend. That's so nice, I like that. So this is all the stamp sets and stuff, and then we also have four new stamp, uh, stamps, sequin and gem mixes. So this one is called Shark Bite, and it's like an amazing blue, sort of turquoisey blue. I like these. I'm not gonna open them because they've actually got the tape around there and they'll just go all over the place, but you'll probably see some projects soon with these. These are super fun. They are, I think the first ones that we've had that actually has like a pattern on the, the sequins as well. And these ones are called Aqua Seas. Oh, how perfect is that? And then these, are really nice. I like these. I'm not usually a big fan of purple, but there is like iridescent ones in here as well. So that would look fantastic. And the purple Rita, cool. And then we have more gemstones. I have become such a huge fan of these gem mixes and 
because I do like a little bit of sparkle sparkle. And these ones are called Oceans of Green. Perfect. Okay, so that's gonna go super well with all of these ocean themed stuff. And then we have something that is super exciting. This is called Paper Glaze Enhancer. And it will mattify your paper glaze. Yes, I kid you not. So you know how they're usually like super shiny? Mm -hmm. You mix some of this in and it will go matte but sparkly. So we're gonna have a quick look at some of these. So as you can see, I have been playing a lot with the paper glaze enhancer and uh, made lots of different samples and stuff. But I think the two that are probably the most, uh, the best ones to look at is these two. So this one is done with the original paper glaze, just paper glaze up and down. Although I have done some custom mixes to mix in, um, like kind of create a color wheel like that. So as you can see, that's like insane shimmer. And then I did almost exactly the same colors, but with the paper glaze enhancer. And then I have also like on top of this, I printed to create another background. And that's why you can see it has this amazing texture. And the fun thing, of course, with the paper glaze is that it dries in the texture that you leave it. So here, smoothed it on. And here, I just slapped it on and then I printed on top to kind of get this fun, fun pattern. So, uh, and there will be a video on the Picket Fan Studios a YouTube channel as well, if you want to see how these are made and how I've been mixing up the colors. So uh, don't forget to hop on over there if you want to see more. And um, that is it for now, but um, I will probably try to make some cards with all of this and um, stay tuned. Okay, so I did actually manage some cards, um, although I did not use that um, Birds of Flight that, some sets that I thought I was gonna use, but I managed a very clean and simple card here where uh, I used the stamp set from, uh, or sentiment, from this, no, not from this stamp set. It is from this stamp set here, oh, so many cards. And I uh, just stamped that up and colored it in really, really simple, like keeping it super, super simple. And um, here I finished a card with um, a background that I actually made for the YouTube video that is up on the Picket Fun Studios YouTube channel uh, showing off the enhancer. So this is made with a paper glaze enhancer and corn flower blue paper glaze. And it just, it feels fantastic as well. I love that. And uh, the mirror people shadow silhouette people. And some sequins, of course, from this shark bait, shark bite even. So yeah, that's it. And then I, because I had so many backgrounds made using the paper glaze, I um, finished this card off with, or I used this Kylie girl and the coordinating die cut. And uh, I just colored it super simple and then stamped up show the haters who's boss and I used all of the gem mixes that we have available so these two actually say sequin mixes but they are gem mixes so just use the colors that kind of coordinating and you know a bit of bling for a non-hater card is pretty good isn't it so that's it so thank you so much for watching. And um, I know this is slightly different to my usual videos, but I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you want anything of this, I will link down below in the description box to the Picket Fence Studios shop with a compensated affiliate link. And if you shop using these links, you don't, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but the uh, Picket Fence Studios will actually give me a small commission as a thank you for sending you their way. So thanks again. And um, uh, I will see you soon again with another video. Bye.